I'm really starting to feel like that one baby mama who keep letting you in the house because you're cute. Like every single thing they show, like I look at it and I'm like, it looks great. And I go and pre-order it and then I end up regretting it. I've had two other figures from Bring Arts. One of them was the Aqua or something like that. I ended up selling that. That was mad floppy. And then I got the other Cloud. Just like, Ugh. We're looking at the Bring Arts Final Fantasy VII Cloud Strife. And they need a mold or something that's going to work at one of these other companies and just tell them how it's done. I mean, I'm complaining and all this stuff, but I mean, his face looks great. The wrinkles, shading, all that stuff looks really good. But it's like, once you get to that articulation, it's like, come on, brain arts. You didn't look at this and say, oh, people are going to start complaining. You like his buster sword, though. The sculpt work for the damage on it looks really, really good. But as you can imagine, because of the weight of it, it's really heavy for that wrist pick. Even after I've stuffed some paper in it, it's still flopping all over the place. And your options for dual wooden is going to be limited because of its articulation. But he does come with two different adapters. You can swap out for his back for when you want to have the sword holster. So I appreciate that. And he also comes with a second set of teeth for a stand. But there's a surprise with that. The double ball joint at the head would have been better. He can't look up and there's no additional movement at the neck. I kind of wish they did the back of his hair like how Revotech does for some of their figures. Universal hinge and rotation at the wrist. I do like the scope work for those gloves though. That looks pretty cool. He's got two points of rotation at his elbows, none at the gauntlet. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm being too hard on Bring Arts for this figure, but I haven't even got to the worst part about him yet. Like squishiness for his floating belt and he's got a soft diaper piece, so his torso movement is actually pretty good. Now, I'm not even the biggest fan of Final Fantasy. I've never played 7 the original, but I always used to watch my brother play it. I do have the remake, but it hasn't really pulled me in like that. All right, so the hips. Let's talk about the hips. The worst thing about this figure. So we got ball joints connected by a short rod going into the thigh. You cannot move the legs around without the leg popping off. It is horrible. Every single time, like you really got to put one finger on the thigh to hold that joint in place and then move his foot around. That is horrible. Decent range at the knees, but when you fold them, that joint is ugly. I do like the way his boots look. Got some treads at the bottom, so that's pretty cool. Cool. He doesn't have a whole bunch of range though at those ankles. So, I mean, that kind of sucks. It's going to be really tricky trying to get his legs out to the side. So I'll just say unofficially, he can't hit the split. You know who should do the Final Fantasy license? You know what? I'm not even going to say it, but it rhymed with Ada Hoy. For the rest of his accessories, so he doesn't come with a whole bunch of hands. You got your style pose, relax hands, your grip hands, your fist hands. They all look pretty good, but it doesn't hold on to this rack very good. I kind of wish they threw some material in there or an effect piece or something like that. And as far as the stand goes, he does come with two T4 stand, but it only comes with one arm. We do have him next to Ash Ketchum from SH Figure Watch. You got your Bro Toys Berserker Beretta. And I hope Bro Toys does this version of Cloud next. What y'all think? Because I'm probably going to pass on this version that's coming from Bring Arts. Next, here we have him next to a couple figures from SH Figure Watch simply because I have him close. Here we got your Neko Raphael and your Kotobukiya Zero Model. Okay. Final thoughts on the Bring Arts Cloud, man. Unless you're on your dying bed and you always want it. You know what? Not even that, man. If you love vanilla pose, then this is the figure for you. But for the price, I cannot recommend it. All right, y'all. That's my video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.